stage, long run could be a real factor. Wow. And Keselowski goes around and into the wall. Back damage, guys. Back into the wall. It's uh, not good, but I don't know if it's fatal. We'll bring it to us. We'll take a look. Guy below me spun out. Was running 11th at the time. It's our fourth caution of the day. I'm going to say that, that that one's going to have a struggle to, to finish the race competitively. Uh, but he said the guy got loose underneath him. I, I'm interested to see what happened down turn one and two. It's his teammate there, Austin Sendrick, Kaz Grala, that mix. So is the 11 of Justin Haley. Yeah, it looks like the 11 kind of got there too soon and may have just touched the line. And, and you see that as he tries to come back up and unload the wheel, uh, it unloads the car and he just got loose. And at 20 of Christopher Bell, back there because of the speeding penalty, nearly got taken out as well. Good job for him to dance through the problem. Yeah, you just see Haley coming up there after he's trying to gather his car up. And that's just what we talked about at the, at the beginning of the race. You know, that inside line uh, is going to have to make some decisions on how hard to push it. Just an unfortunate position for Brad to be in there. He was minding his own business and the left gets loose. Christopher did a great job right there. So did Justin, really, to gather it up, and, and he stayed out of trouble for the most part. It's been a difficult year for Brad. Two starts in the Xfinity Series. Remember back at Daytona, they had the roof hatch problem and, and fought that all day long, and, and now today a spin in the middle portion of this second stage. And I wonder, opportunity for strategy here as, as we see the damage for Haley. You have three sets of tires left. You're going to have that long run in the final stage. We'll keep an eye on that if anyone pits. Meanwhile, the damaged cars are in, including Haley, Jamie. Yeah, and Justin Haley, first start here. He's just been saying his car was loose, and you saw it just snap loose there. He has some damage from getting into the 12 of Brad Keselowski, but it looks and sounds like it's pretty minimal, so they'll try to fix it up here and get him back out. One thing I will say about all the loose cars today is usually when we have the cooler weather, it, it gives the front end more grip, and, and the front tires just turn better, and it makes those cars just not have those handling characteristics that they had when it was warmer.